OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T has already started receiving Android Nougat updates worldwide since the onset of 2017. But did you notice all the updated features Nougat has to offer yet? Hang on with me to know the 15 new features, some of which you might not have even noticed. What is up guys, Sky here back with another video. Before I dive into the updates, I would like to show you an easter egg which you can see in the calculator app. When you type 1 plus and then press equals, OnePlus shows you their tagline never settle with a beautiful animation. Anyways, at the time of filming this video, I had 4.0.1 Oxygen OS version and this was the baseband version kernel version and the build number. While updating to Nougat, you might have seen this list which already gave an overview of what's new in the OS. Now without further ado, let's dive in. Right off the bat you receive a built-in app locker so you don't have to install any third-party app lockers anymore. Head over to settings, security and fingerprint and then app locker. Here you can encrypt all the installed applications and not just talk once with either a 6 digit pin or with your fingerprint. The new notification panel must be quite evident by now. It is redesigned to show you the quick settings just by a single down swipe. Swiping further down shows you the entire panel. In fact, now you can accommodate much more settings in multiple notification panels and access them just by swiping sideways. One of the most prominent features of Nougat is the Doze Mode. So when you go to Battery under Settings, you can enable aggressive Doze and App Hibernation by tapping here. It basically lets you optimize the apps you want. So to conserve battery, the background apps will automatically enter hibernation, increasing the standby time. However, there is no significant improvement in on-screen time. Next in alert slider, you earlier had an option to disable the alarms. However, now you can see OnePlus have removed it, so alarms will now ring whether you activate the silent profile or the do not disturb. Now another cool feature which I like about Nougat is the new status bar under settings. You can disable the specific icons you want up here. So let's say if you find the Wi-Fi icon unnecessary, you can opt to hide it. Further now you can even view seconds along with hours and minutes in the time section. You also get a new option to calibrate this screen under display settings where you can keep the display as default or choose sRGB mode or even customize by adjusting the warmth and coolness yourself. You can even calibrate the DPI scaling under same display settings by going to the display size. So by fiddling with the slider here, you can make the items on your screen appear smaller or larger, thus enabling you to accommodate more icons and more settings. There are 4 levels, the smallest of which I believe makes perfect use of this 1080p screen resolution. Now currently the dark theme is already activated on this phone but you can opt for light or default in theme under display settings. Unlike before the current dark theme is universal meaning it applies everywhere throughout the phone. For instance here in contact which was not the case earlier. The settings now also have a quick navigation menu, so if you tap here when in settings, you can navigate anywhere onto any other section from here. With Nougat, there are two new pre-installed apps, Google Duo and the inbuilt community app by OnePlus. 
where OnePlus community keeps you updated about the new changes made in the OS, improvements or any bug fixes. It's like their own forum and while you can uninstall it if you want, you cannot however uninstall the Google Duo. The shelf is also improved now. You can name it anything by long pressing here. Nougat also offers to uninstall few pre-installed apps. For instance, I already uninstalled the weather app which used to be here on the shelf. Another prominent Nougat feature is the multitasking window which Samsung users might already be familiar with. To use it, just long press any app in the open apps window and drag to the top portion and then select your second app. However, not all apps are split screen supported. Next we have the support of F2FS file system in opposed to EXT4 file system which basically takes advantage of flash storage thus decreasing app opening speeds. You can switch the file systems after a clean installation of NuGet. Last but not the least is the change in notifications. I forgot to include it in the video but basically you have a quick reply option and you can act upon specific notifications if you get a bundle of them without even going to the app. So let me know in the comment section below if I missed any feature in Nougat. And I would also like to know whether the Nougat update on OnePlus 3T is any different. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more upcoming videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Peace.